big smiles. Hi, it's Ant. Um, just testing the new Tungshen Z8 motor. Wow, what a beast. Uh, 267 quid. I've been running a TZ2, TSD Z2 for maybe four, four and a half years, upgraded it to a B, and that is brilliant, to be fair, for the money. It's just fantastic and torque sensing. But this, this is another level. Um, here's the bike. 29er steel weighs a ton. There's a the motor running a 34 tooth. I'm gonna mod that as I said in another last in another video I've got, but uh, the difference is I've been running I've developed a system called Ibex Power Biking. Ibex. Uh, I'll post some pictures up in another video. I've been running a backpack with the uh, battery in the back. Those who are asking, it's got a 48 volt, um, 13 amp hour battery in the back. So far, I've absolutely stormed up one of my paths here uh, in normal mode and turbo mode. Uh, wow, the torque. Yeah, okay, 750 watt. Uh, but, you know, obviously on the road, I don't use it. And uh, what torque. Why spend five, six grand on a, mo on a bike? When you've got that motor for 200, 267 quid delivered with the VAT and delivery. Wow, and it's so quiet. The torque sensing, they've obviously just the firmware. The, the firmware, um, whatever they've tweaked on that torque sensing is phenomenal. Um, I, I, I can't believe how good this is. Okay, first run, I've done this before. I regularly come up these these kind of trails in the winter. It's gnarly, it can be zero snowing. So it'll be interesting to see how long this lasts before I've got to delve into you know the seals and the bearings and everything. But for now, uh wow honestly, Tongsheng, you've knocked out the park with this. Uh I believe it can do up to 160 Newton meters and it can go up to a thousand watt peak. With a 52 volt battery but i'm, I'm running a 48 and I, i'll tell you this is enough i've even got a throttle on there for once and i've 3d printed a, an extra little bit uh, i'm running a smaller display because i don't like the big display at all but this does not need tweaking whatsoever you don't need to firmware update it or anything but uh hope you like this video uh yeah onwards and upwards and uh I'll carry on posting these small videos and hopefully people are inspired by it, but I'd seriously consider if you've got a, an older frame, uh, full suspension or hardtail, that you put one of these motors on. But like I said, I run the backpack. That's the difference. People look and they can't see. I think putting the battery on a frame is just rubbish. Um, yeah, it weighs 4.3 kilo and it's on my back and I'm a big lad, but you don't feel it. You don't feel it. So thanks for watching and I'm going to crack on.